but took me a long time for our customers to stop emailing me. And every now and again, I still get a direct email from a customer expecting that I'm gonna pick up the phone and help them to fix something with their computer. Maybe their printer's not working and they think, hey, Pete can fix that, and they send me an email. Unfortunately, we have 25,000 customers, so I'm no longer the one who can answer the call and get that sorted out for them. What would you recommend be the best practice to move a founder's original email to a general team email address inside Google Workspace. Now the company has grown, so the original founder's email essentially is the entire company's info at or team at bucket. I think that's a great question. Being a founder who's mostly exited the operations of IT Genius, I have a lived experience of this in that people may still email me from time to time, but the emails that come to me should really be handled by the team because if I'm doing a capital raise or working on something to do with strategy outside of the business, I'm either gonna use a personal email address that's more attached to my name, and my customers don't really have a reason to email me directly unless they're sharing feedback that I then pass on to the CEO. For the most part, my team are handling everything to do with the business. Now, it took me a long time to train my customers not to email me directly anymore, and instead to email our company email address, which is help at itgenius.com. And that's now been successful, but it took me a long time for our customers to stop emailing me. And every now and again, I still get a direct email from a customer expecting that I'm gonna pick up the phone and help them to fix something with their computer. Maybe their printer's not working and they think, hey, Pete can fix that, and they send me an email. Unfortunately, we have 25,000 customers, so I'm no longer the one who can answer the call and get that sorted out for them, but we've got an amazing team who are ready to take that call. Now, what I end up doing is I forward that email into my team. But it would certainly be a strategy to have my email address, peter at itgenius.com, set as an alias of our shared mailbox, help at itgenius.com. Now, rather than renaming my mailbox or merging all of my historical data into that mailbox, I think the smartest thing to do would be for me to choose a new email address and have the old email address just set as an alias for the new shared mailbox. I think that would be the best recommended action because I don't really wanna share all of the company history from my own personal mailbox with everybody else who needs to access the shared team mailbox, but I may choose to have emails that used to go to me go to the team instead. That's a good idea. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.